Hi everyone and welcome back to our Cry Baby Whims Challenge. These two are starting the day with some feeding and spending time together, but I'm afraid that this episode is starting with some more bad news when it comes to the family. Because Flora got a really sad call in the middle of the night and her cousin Cheyenne has died of old age though, so no more accidents or anything like that. But not only is Flora mourning Ezra, but also Cheyenne now. But speaking of Ezra, I want to clarify something. The thing that happened with him was not planned. I swear that was not planned at all. I was gonna have him go to uni, have a nice life, get him a boyfriend, have him move out to a nice house. I had everything really nice planned for him and then he just dropped dead as soon as he aged up. I know why that happened. He was enraged in his mood swing during him being like a teenager and teenagers can go through those really big emotions but then he aged up into a young adult while he was still enraged and that's why he died which is really ridiculous but yeah that was a genuine accident and it absolutely sucked but I wanted to clarify I did not do that it actually just happened but while these two are spending some time together and are being cute although Rosalie is kind of really upset she is dealing with so much loss right after being born she doesn't even really understand what's happening but I can tell that it's definitely affecting her especially because Flora is the one who's spending the most time with her and Flora is just not doing well so it must be reflecting on Rosalie as well which is really unfortunate and she has frequent hiccups as well which oh Flora you'll have to be working from home but she has frequent hiccups and she also has problems with gases so she's just not not really doing well when it comes to like feeding and stuff. Maybe the formula that Flora has to be feeding her is not really suiting her that well, which is really unfortunate, but Aspen does not want to breastfeed, so she doesn't really have much of a choice. But Flora, since you did put her here for some reason, let's just do some more tummy time or something because I want you to be focusing on Rosalie a lot and maybe that will distract you from being so upset about Ezra, although I don't think that anything can really distract you, but just focus on Rosalie quite a bit because she is the only person that you have right now that you can spend some time with and you are definitely definitely the only person that she has so just try to do a lot of like time together and stuff while these two are spending some time together i want to show you just a couple of things first of all here in the room since we lost ezra things are a little bit different in the apartment but laura has a couple of his things now his school project and his scouts little trophy here and also this little picture that he drew on his first ever day of school and Rosalie just learned to lift her head we missed it but that's okay you're done already maybe just do one more tummy time because she's doing so well and you kind of need to be working on that a little bit more but I am showing you Ezra's things in Flora's room because Aspen absolutely wasted no time and got rid of Ezra's things quick she pushed both of the beds together so now she has a double but there are no things of like Ezra's left in the room so Flora luckily managed to grab a couple of things before Aspen just threw everything out but while Aspen is sleeping I also need to show you something about Aspen because I'm sure that you can already tell that she looks a little bit different so Aspen had her first ever day of work last night I didn't show it because I didn't want to start the episode in the middle of the night but she had her first day of work ever and she decided to treat herself with a relatively big makeover so her hair hair kind of grew out a little bit and she decided to just remove all the pink stuff she got bored of it she had it for a while so her hair is getting a little bit longer and she got herself a lot of new clothes that I will show you off as well so she has some more outfits some are still like kind of relatively similar to what she had before and some are like a little bit more grown up because she is a young adult now so I thought that maybe it would be appropriate some are still kind of the same that she had before but I am really loving her outfits some are kind of goofy and a little bit silly looking honestly but some are like really revealing like this one or this one some are kind of just loud and out there it's a bit of a mix of everything because she wants to obviously express herself in like a bit of a different way when it comes to like fashion and everything but she also wants to like annoy flora in a way because she's trying to be a little bit more revealing which would kind of bother her mother i guess although aspen is old enough to dress however she wants right now but she's also dressing like really like 
bold and colorful and like screeching essentially also just to annoy flora which is just such a shame that's such a mean thing to do but another pretty big thing that you are seeing right now already is that aspen got a lot of new tattoos a lot she did not waste any time she was like okay i had these like this one and where is the one on her face oh i do need to apply it on her other outfits i didn't realize that was makeup but she does have a face tattoo i need to put it back she only just had those two little ones so she's like you know what i'm just gonna go all in and get myself all the tattoos that i want at once because remember she is just using this time to do whatever she wants because flora is too miserable to pay attention so aspen is just kind of let loose to do whatever oh we just lost power because of power conservation day really that really sucks but i was going to say that of course that big makeover especially tattoos were not cheap and aspen did pay five thousand simoleons for all of that. Sadly, I don't think that Flora has noticed quite yet. Oh, Aspen, you are kind of up early. It's not even 10 a.m. What are you doing? Well, okay, whatever. You just take care of yourself. Maybe it's good that it's dark so Flora can't see your tattoos quite yet. But you are thinking about Edward. You want to chat with Edward? Aspen, what are you even thinking? I think that Edward would seriously injure you if he saw you now. That's also kind of part of the reason why Aspen decided to change out her look. Oh, you're thinking about Thomas no way oh and we got the lottery winners but that would not be Aspen because she did get the lottery thing and love day is tomorrow but I was gonna say she did kind of change her look not just to treat herself for starting her job but also because you know changing up her look relatively often is a smart idea because we are trying to hide from Edward and he is kind of nearby somewhere Flora could start working she hasn't had a chance to see Aspen's new look because it's starting anyway so she can't really see it that well she is kind of getting a little bit older her eyesight might not be great she has glasses like for her entire life already anyway so maybe she just genuinely hasn't realized and she's just so out of it that she's not even paying attention that much aspen is going crazy and spending like all of the money going in a complete spending spree while flora did not even realize and honestly even when she does realize i don't know if she'll really do much she doesn't really have the energy to do that last time when she realized when aspen also did a makeover actually wasn't that the thing that's when aspen ran away so i don't think that she will really want to argue with aspen anymore because she is worried because aspen is a bit of a flight risk and now when she has a child she really cannot do that but aspen you took care of yourself so i am just going to send you maybe go jogging or something but later we'll be working on some pickpocketing finally please just go jog a little bit you should be really fit and active so you are just always ready to run when you have to so I should be sending her on jogs a little bit more regularly. But after that, we'll be finally trying out some pickpocketing techniques because we haven't had a chance to focus on that and I really, really want to and she kind of really needs to work on that. Oh no, Aspen is back and I sent Flora to go shower. I didn't even realize Aspen was back so quickly, making a mess out of the entire bathroom, just playing in the bath. Oh, Aspen. And the bin is so full. Flora has to do everything by herself. Just empty this, clean the fridge. Things are just really strange starting to be kind of difficult we have like no power at least the baby is being really good so you don't have to worry about her too much so i want to do something a little bit more useful and productive with you which is never a thing with aspen let's be real but there is something that i need to be doing because i forgot that would be get her this sterilization surgery because aspen will absolutely not be having any more kids ever and i forgot to do that last time because of the entire thing with ezra i got distracted so let's send aspen to go do that spent even more money but at least it's for a good reason but flora you you have some more things to be cleaning up but then you can oh do some more cleaning up never mind i was gonna say you can finally like go and take care of yourself well maybe search the pockets because aspen is so responsible but money maybe she even left some in the pocket so do that and then just do the laundry and you can finally take care of yourself then i did not even realize how useful it was to have ezra around but now that he's not here and helping everything is on flora and it's really just starting to pile up quickly oh flora is mourning ezra but i did just notice that rosalie is awake and she's also needing some help she needs to be cleaned so she can't really be spending a lot of time mourning ezra because this one needs some help and you need to be giving her a bath i think because she is thinking pretty much the same way the floor is thinking and i think that this is going to be her first ever bath which speaking of yeah i did have to get a bath as well so that was a 
a big expense because she needed to have like a place where she could be bathed so fortunately we have to invest some money into this horrible apartment instead of just moving out of it but now we definitely can't afford it anyway so that's unfortunate but at least Rosalind now has everything that she needs to live a normal relatively normal as normal as it can be life but Aspen you are back from your surgery so let me just see if it worked is it good there we go you are infertile so you should be okay and I just realized that she has this no more worries from being infertile but a relief to never have to worry about having children again it makes the troubles of the surgery worth it she is feeling super happy and just very good so maybe I'm gonna have to try to have you pickpocket this person although I did some testing and being friendly sure it does kind of help but being confident helps a lot better and now she is confident so maybe she'll actually be able to do this like a couple of times in a row whenever you are confident this works so much better okay this worked do you have two out of 15 yeah that's really good now i know what to do and you are still very confident so let's have you go maybe just pickpockets like random people whoever while you are still feeling confident and then as soon as that confidence stops or you mess up we won't be doing that anymore at least not here you do have to be traveling and stuff but maybe it actually works let's see oh no we're missing more of rosalie's milestones and you did actually get caught but at least we got two so that's like way more than we pretty much ever had rosalie's just here cooing by herself oh aspen you're going to work in an hour that's kind of happened quickly it's already 6 p.m wow this day flew by well aspen you are kind of hungry so i guess i'm gonna have to have you grab something some food just like a quick meal or something because flora is definitely not feeling like cooking and you still have like things to be cleaning and throwing away and a baby to take care of oh you didn't even eat i did not think about that i guess i will have to have you cook but i can't because oh because this is not working because of the power thing right not ideal definitely oh and aspen just went to work i missed her by a second but i will have to have her work hard which is not like aspen at all she's currently taking it easy but i need her to get like promotions and stuff so we need to be working hard although she is already having work discomfort from being irresponsible so i don't think that promotions will be super easy for aspen and apparently rosalie is a self-soother that makes a lot of sense considering her situation she kind of is although flora is is trying her best but she is kind of left on her own so she kind of does have to be doing this which is really unfortunate but Flora just has no time or energy to be there for her constantly at least as much as she maybe should be. Oh wow Flora is so miserable. I think that maybe it would be a good idea to at least text your family and I'm sure that everyone's wondering how you're doing because didn't everyone witness that? It happened literally in the middle of the birthday so like everyone knows what happened and everyone must be traumatized so i'm sure that they're all super worried about flora and i'm sure that she's not in a mood to be sending a bunch of text messages and everyone but they must be reaching out we at least have our power back so you could be texting without worrying about your like running out of battery or something natalie just aged up into an elder no way oh rosalie did just wake up at 2 a.m and i did see that she's hungry so flora has to get up and make some formula because we don't have anything left another sleepless night for flora and I think that Aspen's gonna come back home in a second from work but of course she's not gonna go rush to see how her daughter is doing because I don't think that she really even interacted with her which is kind of crazy. Oh my gosh Aspen actually got a promotion which is crazy. I did not expect Bye. that to happen but I did want to show you something because I am planning on giving Aspen a couple of traits when she has enough points. So I want to give her this trait for easier promotions. I think that that's kind of the priority and we need just like a bit of points to get there but later I definitely want to give her this professional slacker one that is just pure Aspen this trait has been made for her but we really just don't have enough points and it's not priority but I want to give her that because it's just so fitting I know that it's middle of the night but I'm having these to do some more tummy time because I really want Rosalie to be really well-rounded despite all the circumstances Flora is really really trying her best obviously so I want her to reach all of her milestones and just be really well developed and everything but it is like 4am so Flora's gonna go
go to sleep while she's just chilling there and playing and looking at the toys. But it's just a couple of hours later and Flora is awake already. It is love day. Flora is not going to be caring for love day very much at all because of, you know, everything that happened. But just try to check on Rosalie, see how she's doing. And Flora, actually, do you work today? You work in two hours. Oh, she's so close to a promotion. I feel like she would be promoted if she actually went to work, but she can't because she has to take care. Oh, never mind. She literally just got promoted. That is so funny. Well, I'm gonna have to have you go make some breakfast and hopefully you don't start a fire or anything. A few moments later. Why? Why? Just, just why? I'm so tired of this. And now you have a fear of fire. Of course you do. Well, I guess we just have to replace this and hope for the best next time. So try to serve some more breakfast. Breakfast. Are you kidding me? There's another fire and at the same time Rosalie had a blowout. That is that is just ridiculous. I, I hate this apartment so much. It's just stupid. That makes no sense. That is just stupid. I think that I should probably just give them a nicer stove or something because this is just not happening. But fine, I'll just give them a stove that is a little bit better. So should we even bother trying again? They need to eat, so I, I have to make the breakfast. So let's try that one more time. At least Flora actually bothered to evacuate Rosalie, unlike Aspen, who is just going on the PC and does not care about her daughter's safety but that is honestly just not surprising at all is it wait this is insane hey aspen lindsay has asked me out on a date it's it's lindsay it's our lindsay whoa no that is not a good idea i'm not gonna hold it against carmen because i guess she doesn't really know the lore of the gang so i can't really just call her a traitor or anything because she probably doesn't know she's probably thinking oh this person has a similar vibe like us so so surely they would fit in. She has no idea about the history. So absolutely not. Oh no, look how miserable this poor little one is. She's absolutely disgusting and hungry and tired. Just laying here on the floor because Flora has to make the breakfast and everything and Aspen is not helping. Although Aspen is literally like right here. She definitely hears her crying but just doesn't care. Anyway, let's just observe Flora just to be sure. Oh my god. I was gonna say just to be sure we don't have another fire at this point i just give up and they'll like eat a quick meal or something because this is just stupid i am just completely over it so quick meals it is it wasn't this bad before so why is it happening now but anyway aspen is all ready she was just laughing at ezra there a second ago and now she's just like oh, this baby stinks i need to leave this apartment so why don't you try and practice your newly realized strategy of pickpocketing on your neighbor really quickly and then if that doesn't work we could just run out somewhere else but hopefully this does actually oh it did actually work no way amara no way what are you doing amara thinking about babies interesting well we kind of need to be we need to be chatting with amara we can't just let her leave like that kind of do want to pickpocket her but maybe also just throw a punch in there and just do like a little slap maybe something that doesn't draw too much attention to you although i'm sure that people would be paying attention if like there's shouting and yelling and punching. Oh, and you failed at pickpocketing her, right? That's a little bit embarrassing because I mean, An Amara knows your ways. Of course, she would know that you would try to pickpocket her. Why am I surprised? But you're running home. No, 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 we can't go home. You're trying to go back to Amara, but this is perfect. Carmen wants to go on a date. Oh, on a date, really? Date? I guess I'll take it because I wanted to see Carmen and Colette before Aspen goes to work in a couple of hours anyway. Well, I mean, it is love day and they do have some romance so I guess it kind of makes sense that they are on a date. I just didn't really see them that way quite yet at least but we do need to be pickpocketing people so let's go inside just go here together and maybe you could try to pickpocket together. Just start doing stuff while you are still confident for another two hours so we kind of need to hurry it up. It did work no way. Alright this other person then before they sit down at the bar pickpocket them. We are actually having some success today. No way. Oh Oh, never mind. As soon as I said that, and you are running.
running away. To be fair, you kind of do need to be running away because, I mean, you did just try to do like a crime in public. And I think that Carmen got caught as well because she was just running out. Well, they still decided to go back inside and continue flirting and everything. I did want to send them out, but that would kind of ruin their dates and they would start like hating each other. So that's why I'm staying here. Although I think that running somewhere else and maybe also bringing Colette would be a better idea. And I also find it interesting that she's still thinking about Edward chatting with a crush on like love day. She's definitely still not over Edward, which is weird. But this date apparently keeps getting better. You know what would make it a little bit better? If you manage to pickpocket more people. Let me see if you're able to do that. No, it's still too early here. So let's go somewhere else. Oh, and I just realized that we were actually on a date in Brychester. This is where Ezra would have gone to uni somewhere. That's making me sad. But you know what? Let's just go back to our old familiar territory. Not quite to our junkyard because that seems a little bit unsafe. But just to this pier area, surely they'll have some success there. So we're inviting both Carmen and Colette. Colette is kind of third wheeling this date number two, but it's okay. These two are not like an actual thing anyway. Here we are and Aspen is so excited, but I see that your confidence is kind of running out. So yeah, you are approaching the vendor already. Do some pickpocketing. Oh no, you're flirty now. It might not work anymore, but I guess we'll see. My hopes are not too high, to be honest. I think that she'll get caught. Yeah, okay. Well, at least this is really familiar, getting caught in this area, right? But now that everyone is here together, we need to be discussing some plans, some ideas. I hate that everyone does push-ups some like serious talks please stop it but Aspen is just talking about their general plans and talking about death still not sure if she's talking about Ezra or asking Colette if they know anything anything new which is reminding me that we do need to be also giving Colette some more money oh maybe we shouldn't be doing that in front of Carmen because then Carmen will be expecting money and you are not really giving us any like info or anything quite yet you are kind of useful just in general but not like giving money type of useful so i need to distract you so you kind of move and we actually go and speak to colette somewhere in private colette is coming over so i'm just gonna give you some more simoleons another 1000 simoleons hopefully you will actually give us some info no colette where are you going please stop i don't have time for this you didn't want this person to hear that okay that's fair so I'm gonna give you some more money and you please give me some more info about Thomas. At this point, I think that Colette is just using Aspen, but I think that it's time to go to work anyway, so we'll just leave it for now, but hopefully this will all be worth it one day. Well, while Aspen is at work, we can hang out with these two and they're doing some more tummy time, although Rosalie is kind of stinking, so we should be taking care of that for sure as well, but hopefully Rosalie is going to be learning some more. Let me check her milestones because I don't think that we quite looked at them. So you know how to grab and reach, not really quite much. You had your blowout right at the same time as the fire, that was a lot, but we need to be working a lot more on your stuff. You did just learn to laugh, which is really cute. So despite everything, I would say that she's doing kind of okay, but we need to work with her a little bit more. And how is she feeling? You're actually feeling kind of good. So we could be working on your little things tonight quite a lot. And oh, Flora, you need to, you need to make a flower arrangement. Okay, you have time until 9 a.m. So we should be good, but I almost forgot about her job, which would be pretty bad. I'm also having them practice sitting because I never really get a chance to do that with my infants. So I really want her to to do as much as possible. Oh, maybe read a toddler book because she will love books in the future and she needs to get that from somewhere. And since we did get a bookworm trait for Ezra right before he died, I'm kind of thinking that Flora is trying to pass that on to Rosalie because she never had a chance to bond over that with Ezra. He just got into reading and Flora wanted to give him so many books for his birthday and everything and that never managed to happen so she's passing that on to Rosalie instead. So maybe this is where Rosalie's future love for books comes from. She's going to sleep at 6 a.m. That is crazy and Rosalie woke up literally at the same time. Of course Aspen's not gonna take care of her so oh no and you're like starving as well, really starving. Well Flora is kind of getting rested really quickly so go make some formula for her. I see that Rosalie is kind of glowing or something. Oh my gosh she just learned to sing. 
it. You just learned to sit by yourself. That is so advanced. You are so smart. Maybe she's trying to get away from the rats or the smell, honestly, or the bees. There's like a lot of things that you would probably want to get away from. But okay, you can have some formula for breakfast, but I will get her a high chair. So most of her future meals will be something in the high chair, I think. Oh no, I'm sending Flora to sleep and she has to work. And also Flora's boss was apparently disappointed. And Aspen, I know that it's kind of early for you, but I think I want to wake you up because I want to do some more pickpocketing today and we'll probably need to be traveling around a lot. But oh my gosh, no way. She just learned to creep all by herself. Does that mean, oh, she can actually move around the apartment. But Aspen is getting a call from Carmen. Oh, and in the end, Lindsay and I were not made for each other. Of course, and I'm absolutely not sorry to hear that. Well, you're feeling very confident. So before we go anywhere, let's just give it a go here really quickly. Just see who is like first in your path. This person going to play some basketball or whatever. They're a teenager as well. So maybe they won't really realize what's happening. So try to go pickpocket them. Oh no, they definitely have realized. Never mind. Let's just go somewhere else. And while we are traveling around, of course, I'm going to bring the crew together so we can just kind of do our evil stuff together. You can brag about the baby. That is so funny. I don't think that Colette would really care. And I don't think that Aspen would ever do that, but it's just like a bit of a funny option. I mean, to be fair, Aspen would brag about pretty much anything. She could just brag about how easy giving birth was and that it's not really a big deal and everyone's just being so, so weak and stupid. It's not difficult or whatever, you know, stuff like that. Aspen would just be like that. But anyway, since you are still very confident, you just go and pickpocket this person who definitely has no pockets, but let's just give it a go anyway. Is this going to work? No? No, this person just left. Doesn't even care what Aspen has to say. But give this... Oh, it actually did work. I was gonna say give this a go. You can buy yourself some food with that money, honestly. Oh, this is not a bar. Where are we? I thought that this was a bar. Oops, never mind then. D did we just come to someone's house? I think that we might have. Oops, okay. Well, that's a bit of a failure, isn't it? I, I went to a wrong lot, but um, yeah, never mind. Let's go to the bar. There we go. That is more like it. So we can go inside and continue, hopefully, our pickpocketing streak while she's still feeling very confident. I do need to grab you some food. I did promise you that. So order yourself something after that. Oh, it actually did work. No way. All right. All right. All right. Continue your streak. Go pickpocket boots. One of my Animal Crossing sims. I love that. That's so funny. Well, let's try to rob him real quick. Okay. Her confidence is going down and it didn't work. Oh, that's annoying. Since that attempt did kind of fail, I'm just gonna have these two sit without Carmen and discuss their plans in peace and see if Colette maybe is requiring any more payments or anything like that. See if they have any more info. Colette is saying not really, but I mean, I have a sister who knows like a lot of stuff, so maybe she would be able to help you out. But, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to earn some more info and you'll know something for sure, which of course Aspen is just believing. It looks like Colette is just providing another connection, which is not really much. Carmen wasn't really that much of a help. It's just nice to be building out the gang again, so she's not too against it. It just didn't really seem that useful. But now Colette is saying that they have a sister. That sounds a lot more personal if they're willing to involve their sister, so surely they really care about this and they're really trying. So Colette is gonna invite their sister to the next meetup that we have, but that meetup will cost us a little bit more money. It's not just a thousand simoleons, it's gonna be a couple more, so we need to be giving Colette some extra cash. It is definitely going to be more than 1,000 because, I mean, they are willing to invite their sister over, so it must be, yeah, it must be more. So I'm gonna give you 5,000 simoleons, which is crazy, and they're going like all the way at the back of this bar so no one sees this big exchange of cash but i really hope that colette will think that this is enough money because that's like six thousand simoleons just for them to bring their sister next time and they finally agreed so i'm hoping that colette's sister will know something and now aspen is going to chat with carmen just to have them feel included because they haven't really seen each other and carmen is doing like what the gang is supposed to be doing but Aspen does need to kind of cover up this big like interaction and not have Carmen suspect anything that like a lot of money is involved in this because she doesn't want to keep giving all of that to Carmen anyway. But we'll see how all of that works out in the next episode.
which you can click right here and if the next episode is not out yet here is something to watch while you wait. See you there!